Hello everyone. How are you doing? Um, I don't know when you will watch this, but I am recording it the day after Easter. So I hope everyone enjoyed a happy Easter weekend. I hope everyone is safe from the thunderstorms we had last night um, and just safe and healthy in general. Um, okay here for another lesson. Uh, but before we begin, I wanted us to, um, everybody, wherever you are, if you're sitting down, get your feet flat on the floor, maybe put your hands in your lap or on your knees and take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Okay, let's do that two more times, ready? Good, one more. Very good, now maybe do some shoulder rolls. Maybe stretch, okay. Shake it out, are we ready? I think it's very important to practice um, stress management. You remember we talked about stress and how to relax and how to cope with stress. So uh, it's maybe a good practice before you sit down to do your English lessons. Take a deep breath, okay? All right, now let's begin with our lesson for today. We are on unit six, lesson E. That's page 78. So open your books to page 78 and you will see a chart. Um, do you remember a few lessons ago we talked about time-saving devices? Uh, we talked about those are things in your life that help you save time. So Mrs. Rosen, for example, in the story, her favorite time-saving device is an address stamper. Um, it saves her time because she does not have to write by hand. Um, she can simply stamp and then there's her address on an envelope. Uh, we talked about dishwashers um, and several other things. We also talked about advantage and disadvantage. You see advantage and disadvantage? Actually, let me check and make sure you can see that in the video. Oops, oh no, oh no, okay. I think you can see it in the video. Um, okay, are we good? There we go. Oops, okay, so. <laughs> Uh, advantage and disadvantage. Do you remember advantage, what that means? Anybody? Advantage is positive points about something. So um, it's anything that maybe helps or um, it's a good thing. So disadvantage is negative points about something. Um, okay, so we know it is possible for one thing to have both advantages and disadvantages, right? So let's, let's think about some of our favorite devices and what are their advantages? What are their disadvantages? Okay, so the first one that came to my mind, you think about your own, but I will do some with you to start. Um, first one I thought of was cell phone, right? There are many advantages to a cell phone, even 
if it is not a smartphone. One advantage of a cell phone, just a very basic cell phone, is you can call, make a phone call from anywhere, right? So I know you all remember, um, I remember, a time when you had to, if you were out and about, you had to find a pay phone to make a phone call. Um, but now you can make a phone call from anywhere, uh, which is very convenient. Uh, but what is one disadvantage of a cell phone? Maybe one is that you need to charge them. Uh, they require uh, a battery, recharge um, frequently. Maybe another disadvantage though, especially for smartphones, is sometimes they can be distracting. If you can make calls from anywhere, you can receive calls from anywhere. And sometimes that is a distraction when you are working or if you're having a conversation and someone calls and interrupts you, that can be distracting. So that is the disadvantage I chose uh distracting all right next the next one i thought of which is big big important one um cars right cars are a very good time saver uh before cars people had to use horses, or just walking everywhere, or um, trains. So cars um, get people, get us places quickly. Um, well, unless you live in Atlanta, where you can never drive anywhere quickly. Uh, that was a joke. Um, but what is one disadvantage of cars? Well, they can be expensive. They are expensive to buy. They are expensive to maintain. You have to buy gas. You have to take them to Leo You to get fixed. You have to buy new parts. Um, you have to buy license and registration and blah, 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 blah. Uh, very expensive. Also dangerous, right? It is dangerous to be driving um, in general. Car accidents um, happen all the time. So those are the downsides. Expensive and dangerous. Okay, number three, uh, another device I thought of is coffee maker. Right? Now, you know there are many ways to make coffee, but I think the time saver is the coffee maker that you can put the coffee in, put the water in, set a timer, it will make coffee for you in the morning. Um, you just press a button and there it goes. Very convenient. Um, and usually your coffee stays warm. So you can drink some, it's hot coffee. You go back two hours later, it is still hot. So that's an advantage. Um, one disadvantage is you have to clean it. I think it is not, not a bad disadvantage, but you still have to clean it and maybe they break over time. So, all right, so our advantage, uh, convenient, stays hot. Disadvantage, 
need to clean. Okay. Uh, how about another one? We already talked about this, but another one is dishwasher, right? Okay, so one advantage of a dishwasher is it's very convenient. It washes the dishes for you, right? Very convenient. Um, and sometimes I feel better um, knowing that the water was so hot maybe it sterilized all the germs, right? But one disadvantage, uh, sometimes it does not get all of the food off of the dishes. So it's not always clean. And usually you still have to wash the dishes off in the sink before you put them in the dishwasher. Otherwise, the, all the food won't get off. So, you know, it's not always not super convenient, um, not as convenient as it could be, uh, right? So let's see, disadvantage is not always clean. All right, let me do, I'll do one more with you. Um, I asked Chris what his favorite time-saving device is, and the first thing he thought of was a blender. Like, that's really convenient. Um, you know blender. Um, you can make smoothies, you can make salsa, you can make... Um, those are the things that I make in a blender. <laughs> Chris makes everything, uh, so many things in a blender. Um, but blenders are, their advantage is that it's very easy um, to blend and chop things very quickly. You press a button, it's done. Um, so, easy blend quickly. So the one disadvantage is that you you really have to clean all of the parts and sometimes it's difficult to clean every single part, right? Okay, so those are five. There is space and I hope uh, I should have said this at the beginning, but please go ahead and write these down in your in your book right here. Uh, but then I want you to write three more on your own. What are your three favorite time-saving devices? Um, try to come up with three more. Do not repeat these, okay? So three more time-saving devices. Go ahead and pause the video while you do that, okay? Okay, so, um, so now let's go ahead and now that you have completed your chart, all right, let's read the paragraph here, okay? Um, before we read this paragraph, notice the red tip box at the bottom, and uh, I'll actually read that. Why don't you read it out loud with me, okay? So it says, one way of organizing a paragraph is by describing advantages and disadvantages. Okay, so... Notice the organization of the paragraph as we read. And of course, as always, if there are words that you do not understand, underline them. And after we read, you can pause the video 
and look up their definition, okay? So here we go. The title, before I read it, can you find the title? Very good. My favorite time-saving device. Okay, so if you look at the title, what do you think the paragraph will be about? My favorite time-saving device, okay? Obviously, that's what the paragraph is about. So now let's read it. My favorite time-saving device, voicemail, has many advantages, but it also has some disadvantages. Before I had voicemail, I used to answer my phone every time it rang, even if I was busy. But with voicemail, I don't have to interrupt my work. The caller can just leave a message and I can get it later. Another benefit of voicemail is that it allows me to avoid talking to people I don't want to talk to. But of course, that is also a disadvantage because they can avoid talking to me. Another problem is that not only friends leave messages, sometimes there are voicemail messages from salespeople. So even though voicemail is very convenient, it has drawbacks as well. Okay, so um, let's look, uh, I think there were maybe a couple of words that we should go ahead and talk about. Um, So first, let's look at the very last sentence. Maybe you were a little unfamiliar with drawbacks, right? Um, it's not a very commonly used word. So um, what clues from the reading can help you figure out what drawbacks means? You see drawbacks? The very last sentence, drawbacks. Let's look at that sentence. Um, it says, so even though voicemail is very convenient, it has drawbacks as well. Well, we know from our last lessons that even though, uh, when you see even though, it means that there will be a contrast, right? So if you look at the sentence, even though voicemail is very convenient, you've got that first half of the sentence, you know that the second half will have something negative. It has drawbacks as well. So you know that drawbacks is negative. Let me write this on the board for you actually. Um, I will just erase all of this. So, um, so even though voicemail is convenient, it has drawbacks as well. Okay, so I already said this, but just to show you, if you don't know what this word means, One clue that can help you 
is you see this phrase. Even though. And we learned in our last lesson that even though means the same thing as although. Uh, and it means that there is going to be a contrast. We have two clauses, the first clause and the second clause. Even though means that there's a contrast between this and this. So what is the contrast? Even though voicemail is convenient, and we know convenient means positive, that's a good thing, it has drawbacks as well. So if this is positive, then this has to be negative, right? Okay, give me just a moment. All right. Um, go ahead and look up the rest of the words that you were unfamiliar with. And for your homework, I want you to uh, take this paragraph and identify um, what are the different parts of the organization of the paragraph, okay? So where is the topic sentence? And then what sentences do they have? And then do they have a concluding sentence? Now the reason you're doing this is because in our next lesson, you will write your own paragraph using this one as a model. So break down the different parts of this paragraph um, to help you understand how it is organized. And then next lesson, you will write your own. So, all right, but that's all you need to do for now. And I'll see you next time.